Time now for ABC4 News Sports with Dana Green. 16 out of 17, the best record in the NBA. 20 and 5 matches the best start in Utah Jazz history. And while this has truly been a team effort, Donovan Mitchell may be playing some of the best basketball of his career. Without Mike Conley again last night against Boston, the Jazz needed more from Donovan Mitchell, and they got it. A season-high 36 points, 24 in the second half, and a 122-108 victory. It just goes back to having teammates that trust you in those moments. You know, I, like I said, I know I'm capable of, and, you know, if, I, if any any player would tell you they want the ball in their hands every possession when it comes down to it I understand the plays I got to make and it's not always necessarily score no he's been Donovan the distributor nine assists last night 20 in the last two games it just shows what a complete player he's becoming and what goes into that is the, the trust factor that I've had since I got here from my teammates and coaches decision making uh you know I think he improved every single year but this year is really you know the the, the year where I feel like he's been on his best and uh you know and when he does that the team just takes just goes to another level. I think he's seen damn near every coverage you could probably throw at him. Um, we, they've switched with him, they've blitzed him, and then obviously the unselfishness is is something that um, kind of ties it all together for him. A couple of weeks ago, Shaquille O'Neal said Mitchell wasn't a superstar. What did he have to say last night? You're welcome. You're welcome. You know what I'm doing? I challenge him because I want him to get to that next, that, that superstar level. He's a star, but... I want him to get to the level of the guys that I play with. But are they ready for the Lakers yet? I don't think they are. Oh, Shaq in his shade. Mitchell acknowledges, though, that the season is still young. It's only been 25 games. You know, we got plenty more left. Our mind is stuck on a championship. You know, we're not here to, to kind of say, let's just be in first and kind of get the accolades that come with that. We're trying to win the whole thing. Woo! <laughs>